What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 and this will be my third time trying to make this episode work. You know, the first time I realized that, uh, alright, I'm just going to basically explain what I tried to do. I was going to use the genie's wish to bring Belle back to life. First time, I tried to use Belle to get the, use her lifetime reward points to get it, but it didn't quite work out because you can't request that the genie resurrect you if you're the dead one so instead i got pip to do it but then my uh hard drive started acting kind of strange and it wouldn't finish rendering and hopefully this attempt will be shorter and well i don't even think i can accomplish the same thing i did last time because i believe my gifts have all been used up for today let's find out I do recall reading some people's gifts, but now, you know, I'd read them again, but I don't even know if this is going to fully go through, so we're just going to try and roll with it. Enjoy the video. Enjoy, dude, by the way. Love videos. You rock low. This one's from Pros 6678. Now, of course, these people, I had sent them back gifts because it uh, gave Pip enough Ooh, care package. That looks nice. Uh, got a double sleep raft. I think better items come in the care packages. Uh, ooh, can't give another gift back. That is bad. Oh, and then I got the food replicator and the other one, and now I don't have it. That sucks. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Yeah, that food replicator is gone. I had managed to get it from another one of Froze's gifts. But, okay, we're this might take slightly longer. We need Pip's lifetime reward points to go up. So, we have to immediately send him to top in the pool. We also... These, uh, these lifetime reward points are now more important than ever. If I want her to be resurrected this episode. <laughs> so we can see if we can race against the clock. Now multiple of them want a food stand to be put in. So we're going to try and put that in now. Oh, I can't believe how many times I had it. You know, the splendor is kind of removed the third time around. So if I sound a little demotivated. It's not you. It's me. Okay, what else did he want? You could have swore somebody wanted another firewalk pit over there. You. So we're going to put a third firewalk pit down. Dun, dun. Alright, enough of that. I don't have time for your shenanigans. You know, last time I put that right there, my Sims was acting like really crazy, like they couldn't walk past it. So I'm going to put it over here this time. That handles that. We're going to adjust the temperature to cool. This one's going to be hot and this one's going to be scorching so they can work their way up. Okay? Okay. Let's see, what's another way to increase these points? Because he needs another 2,300 to get what I need. Oh, that's, this sucks. This sucks so bad. <laughs> I got an idea. Okay, we're going to have that pillow fight too. Hmm. Okay, these two can stay the same. I mean, I know that Elena can afford it. It's just that I wanted to use her points for something else. I mean, I really want to use her points for something else. Claire, yeah, you can go ahead and sleep in the little fairy house. He wants to buy a dryer. You know what? Maybe we could put a, dry, a washing machine and a dryer on the resort. 
Wouldn't it be hilarious? As a matter of fact, you know what? Why the hell not? I'm in a whatever sort of mood right now. Let's do this. I can do the laundry. We can do the laundry. We'll just put it right on the side of this. Nobody will have any sort of clue. That mean when people change at the resort, their clothes will just drop on the ground? That'd be disgusting. He wants to skinny dip in pool, but there's still kids on the lot, so he can't. But we sure as hell can try. Oh my god. If I send him on vacation... No, that would mean I'd have to do three episodes of, uh... World Adventures, and... I don't know how people would feel about that, and I can't get your opinion. What is Cosmos? This flower just grew out of nowhere? Go pick it. There must be something else that can get his points up faster. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't pick it just yet. You need to have a pillow fight. And if she jumps into her swimwear, she probably wouldn't be so worried about being smoke, uh, soaking wet. So let's see if we can throw on the swimwear. Okay, now you two have a pillow fight. Forgot where it's at. Invite to cuddle. Ain't that creepy? Please die. <laughs> they want to warm up. <laughs> you want to pillow fight with Bell? Hmm. I don't think a skinny dip will happen anytime soon. Where is Bell? Oh, she's having herself a little shower. We're gonna work on everyone's points today. You want to magically clean your husband. You're a good wife. You are a good wife. We're not gonna impress any celebrity today. Actually, since you have wish for both, let's see if we can do both. You have any skills he'd be impressed? No. <laughs> you don't have any skills, do you? Where is this guy anyway? He's, is he even on the lot anymore? I think he's went home or something. Cancel these wishes. And as for you... Hmm. Didn't I put a sh alchemy consignment store out here somewhere? Could have swore I did. Wait, wait, wait. I'm thinking of my other game. This is where it's at. Oh, you want to warm up too? Who else wants to warm up? Now she wants to go to China? Seriously? Ooh, buy a hot tub. We can just sell our old one and buy a new one, right? <laughs> That's a cheap way to do it, I know. Boop! Aw, oh, insufficient funds. You know what? No, no, no. We do not have insufficient funds. Oh, this bed would look so good. As a matter of fact, let's see, I can sell all these right now. I really need the money. Oh, wow. I must have sold something I didn't want to sell if I got that much money from it. Oh, wow. 
Actually, we need another jacuzzi on a lot like this. We'll just put it over here. So there'll be a jacuzzi on each side. As a matter of fact, we need more lights. And by lights, I mean torches. We need more torches outside. Let's see if we can throw some outdoor lights into this. Would this street light really help? I've always liked these. I'm just gonna throw a few of these out here. Make it an exotic sort of resort. <laughs> Oh god, I just spent a lot of money on that. Oh, wow, okay. Can't afford too many of these. Can I put one over here at least, though? Pace in this direction. Love it. This looks like a tiki torch. I'll put it over here. By the staircase. That light should do right there. I think the jacuzzis already have some sort of lighting in them. I'll put some lights around here. Wasn't really thinking about that statue placement or whatever that is. This has to move to the side. Watch these not even be like lined up. Oh well. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. The Sims will like walk out there and get stuck on it and be stupid. Couldn't do that. Now, in order to increase the whatchamacallit, let's... I wonder if this counts as an, an exercise amenity. Ooh, it does. That's good. That's very good. Okay, what else is left? Play with magic. Who else has tasks to complete? I'll have him warm up by walking inside. You know, she doesn't actually have to interact with him to magically clean him, does she? She can just do it from wherever she stands. Let's make sure. Ah, wrong Sim. Clean him. Now, I want you to go inside to warm up. Like a good fairy. You want to buy another hot tub? Seriously? Dude. Wait, does he have enough yet? Oh, so close. Wait. We're that close. We are that close. You know what? I will delete this and put it back. Let's see if anybody else has any simple wishes. I'll think about a shuffleboard table later. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh my god, the snoring. The snoring. Yo, bro, bro. No, not with the snoring. No. Just, just a little while longer. Then the snoring can continue. Okay. Yeah, I just had to kind of force this one out today, this recording. Sorry. <laughs> you act a noisy sim. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. You know what? She doesn't want to warm up, so maybe I'll leave her outside until she wants to. In the meantime, since I have a feeling he's going to get that wish that he wants to get really soon, I'm going to go ahead and give her the thingy that I was going to give her. I want her to have the... Where is it? Magic cans. Wands are for amateurs. Real witches can do magic with only their hands. And their spells never fail. And that is fine by me because she can sell these magic wands. She doesn't need them anymore. Okay. There is one more thing I wanted to purchase since she still has 12,000, which is some nerd influence. Took her from, I think, three to six. So that's good. 
She can chat telepathically with her kindred and share knowledge with another sim to increase learning. Wait, can she really? With her kindred. <laughs> this guy count? Oh yeah, I did send him down here. Did he ever make it? She can't chat telepathically with you. Unless it means only on the same lot. Is she stuck? Let's see. Mind demeld. That must mean what it means by talk telepathically. <laughs> Uh, mean. Nope. Wait. Lunatic? <laughs> slap? A slap powered by the of the full moon. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> Alright, let's have her go in for that pillow fight. And in the meantime, we need to replace the hot tubs. Can you imagine how many lifetime reward points I'd have if I just did stuff like this every episode? But I hate feeling like I'm rushing. Okay, replace that. I lost money, but gained points. It's all for the cause. Watch, watch. Just next, I just know what the game is going to be like. Alright, I'm going to freeze up on you then. I'm going to freeze up on you and stop you. Alright, we got that money back from that. Where's Belle? Oh, I was about to say, she's stuck, isn't she? What else do you want to do, Pip? Go hot dubbing. It's gonna take her a while, so just get in. Yeah, I have her go inside. Doesn't look like she wants to. <gasps> okay, he's just moments away from being able to get the wish that I have been waiting for. I think I, I went over the, the beginning of the episode about how since there's uh, since all these expansions come out, the way that I was trying to do it was actually the oldest and possibly least efficient way to revive a sim. I think the other way was to turn someone into a zombie, but I don't think you can turn a ghost into a zombie. And you have to have pretty high level witchery and, or alchemy to do it, so... And I don't have either because I've been neglecting that because I'm I, I get distracted often while playing this game. <laughs> like litter oh god, the snoring is gonna start back soon. I gotta hurry this up. Uh oh, oh god, what was I trying to do? Ask how you kicked the bucket. Now that's not a nice friendly question. Oh, well, it could be considering the ghost might not take it that seriously. Where is the pillow fight? Alright, there he is. There we be. He's actually going to get the points before the pillow fight finishes. You really have to go outside though? You really have to go outside. Whoa, where'd she go? She just popped through the roof and was like, you know what? We're not going to pillow fight. I'm going to scare my daughter-in-law. Okay. We'll just go ahead and get it now because, all right, just screw this wish. It's hard to work with ghosts. She just reminds me why I hate ghost sims. <laughs> but I couldn't let her just die like that, so. All right, people, the moment we've all been waiting for. The dusty old lamp. AKA, it takes a genie to bring back a genie. This time I'm not even going to stop the snoring, so deal with it. Oh, you have a wand too? Not a witch. Wait, can you do anything with it? Psst, that would be funny. Attempt to cast spell. He'll probably kill himself. Uh, What was I about to do? What was I about to do? Oh, yeah. The lamp. Need the lamp. Clean it! With snoring ahoy, we will have our princess back. Also, it sometimes takes them a while. Where are you going? And then the game's like... Uh, oh wait, the game didn't actually freeze. He's just like... Standing in place for some reason. 
All right, there we go. This genie's name is Van Stewart. We're gonna go ahead and cut to the chase and ask for our wish. Make sure she's in a normal place where she won't die from being resurrected. I want you to resurrect the sin for me. Belle Loveless. Alright, he's granting the wish. Here's a tip. Whenever you have this wish granted, do not have the sim that you are resurrecting selected, as it will remove them from the family. And if you have them selected, it will glitch out and you won't be able to select anyone. You might have to do some edit town stuff or whatnot to get it back. And the sim that you were trying to resurrect by that time might have disappeared. So... Uh, I'm, I just want you to learn from my mistakes. You have to go back and add to active family. And there, we have our bell back to life, just as everyone requested. Now, a lot of people probably dropped off because a lot of people's like, oh my god, you killed Belle, I'm unsubscribing, you killed her, she was my favorite character, the only reason why I watched this show. Well, now she's back, but y'all will never see it. So, the first thing we're going to have her do is laundry, why do we have to pay to do laundry here? That... Oh well. Wait, can she use her genie powers to clean this lot without... Without having to... Oh, come on. Oh well. I guess she can only do that at home. Let's see what she wants to do now that she's alive. Join science career. <laughs> no! She wants to own a resort. Learn a new recipe. She's a cook. Also, I had been seeing that this brooding levels up s cooking slower, so I was kind of like torturing myself. The sim that needed it the most was the worst at it. I know this is only like a 10% difference though. It's 10% slower. Let's see her do her thing. I don't know whose laundry this is. It's probably not even ours. Oh! I think we had to pay for the detergent. <laughs> okay. I mean, now that she's back, I think she should be like, uh... She still retained all of her lifetime reward points, too. Huh. Let's see if we can get something semi-expensive for her. Because, I mean, let's face it. I hardly ever use these points throughout an entire playthrough. Because I want to save them up for something huge, which... I mean, let's face it. I won't be using most of these. Uh, I know that. Oh my god, that's annoying. This is... Welcome to my family. We all do this. Some worse than others. I'm probably the worst. <laughs> Just kidding. You know what? Why don't we just make her friend of the Kraken? Because I can't really think of anything else to use. At least for her. Is there one for cooking, though? I thought there was one that makes meals, like, awesome. Speedy cleaner. She doesn't need that because she, like, cleans magically. There's nothing you can do to make that faster. <laughs> Uh, so it's like, it's almost like cheating, but it's your reward for being a genie. What is this? Ooh, more resort income. Hmm. Oh, born to cook. That was, oh, it's 20,000. Ooh. Friend of Kraken. Uh, it's a hard choice. It's such a hard choice. I think the friend of the Kraken should be someone who's going to be in the water more, and she's not really going to be on the water that much. It's not her, really her resort, so I won't really force that on her. Her thing has always been the cooking, so we'll just drop that on her. <laughs> Let's see. Let's also see if we can drop some rebel influence on her. Start a hunger strike. I don't think I'm going to do that. 
add a herb to a meal. We don't have any herbs right now. Oh, crap. I forgot to do that thing I wanted him to do with the alchemy shop. Oh, well. We'll do it next time. We've accomplished a lot in this episode. There you go, folks. Your favorite genie is back to life. And, ooh. She's still mad. Is she stuck? And I'm just wondering, is she really stuck? It must be this food bowl. I'll move it over here to this side. Now, are you stuck? I can't believe it. She is. Ugh. Reset. Sim. Bell. Less. I know where it put her. Probably put her back at home. Okay. What are the special abilities of Rebel Social Group? I, I really don't know. Let's see. Receive street art bag and megaphone. Ability to sell test answers for simoleons. Get away with cheating in university easier. Ability to use podium to say what's wrong with the world or stage hun hunger strike. Unlock an exclusive rebel smartphone skin. Uh, ability to stage a rowdy protest. Can now show off new gizmo to others. Uh, the fourth star is always to add a new trait. Oh, art appraiser. Cute. I should also have one of these people get into blogging, but I don't know. Probably the same that gets the most action. I guess before I go, I should... Oh, she already went to bed. I was going to have her do her... You know what? We can still do that. We'll wake her up real quick, and I'll just have her sleep it all. Have her test out of her new ability. She went to sleep in her out in her outerwear. That is kind of creepy. I want her to cast a good luck charm on herself. Does she have to, like, go to the mainland to do this? Or do we, like, not have enough room here? We might need a basement. She leveled up her witchery, I believe. But it, as it's a hidden skill, we can't really see how much progress she's had in it. Let's see if it tells us. Ooh, ghosts. Elena can control the forces of other planes by summoning ghosts to haunt Sims, unfortunate enough to cross their path with haunting curse. Be wary, though. The consequences for failure can be dire. It's okay. She won't fail. Ooh, let's see. Alright, that's just showing where she got the rebel levels. Love day. Hmm. Okay. Now that we've accomplished this, I'm going to end the episode here before the snoring gets worse, and it's time for me to create some snoring of my own because I decided to stay up extra late just to make sure this happened. Now, guys, the greatest compliment you can give me, if any, if you wish to give any compliment at all, is to comment, like, and subscribe, and to share it with your friends. That is, like, awesome. It's, it helps me help you. I love you guys. So, I will see you all in the next video.